Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Um, uh, not much is going on with me. I just, I've started school. Um, this semester is all online classes. I don't suggest you ever do that. It is horrible. Um, Eric, you said something that I found really, um, kind of interesting and a little bit nostalgic as you said something, uh, your friend had to do this acting part and they had to have, um, wine for their character or something. And when I was a sophomore in high school, we did Les Miserables, which is a book by Victor Hugo. Um, if you haven't uh, watched the movie or something, I, I recommend it. It's a really good story. Um, but my part was at the very beginning of the play. I was Mademoiselle Baptistine, who was a, the priest's sister. And... In our scene, and we're only on for like a scene, a whole scene for the whole play. My scene, we had to have wine, and my friend Andy and I, who my friend Andy, he played the priest. We got about like six bottles of sparkling grape juice, red grape juice, um, for the whole weekend of show. And every night we'd open a new bottle. And we'd pour the grape juice into a wine bottle because we couldn't get the labels off of the uh, sparkling grape juice. And um, as soon as our, sh our our scene was over, we would just go backstage and we would just chug the uh, grape juice. And everybody thought we were winos. It was really funny. So I don't. It just kind of made me really nostalgic and kind of miss my friends. And uh, miss high school a little bit. I just miss theater. I miss theater a lot. Theme, changing the theme because we've already done that one, and um, I don't want to do it again. So I've changed the theme to book recommendations, and I recommend this one, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by uh, Stephen Chbosky. Ch Chbosky, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not good with pronunciation, but it's a really good book. Um, should I? I'll read you the back. Um, standing on the fringes of life offers a unique perspective, but there comes a time to see what it looks like from the dance floor. Um, in this story of what it's like to grow up in high it's it is the story of what it's like to grow up in high school. More intimate than a diary, Charlie's letters are singular and unique, hilarious and devastating. We may not know where he lives. We may not know who he is writing. All we know is the world he shares. Caught between trying to live his life and trying to run from it puts him on the strange course through uncharted territory. The world of first dates, family dramas, and new friends. The world of sex, drugs, and the Rocky Horror Picture Show, where all you need is that perfect song on that perfect drive to feel infinite. Through Charlie, Jabosky has created a deeply affecting novel that will spirit you back to those wild and poignant roller coaster days known as growing up. Okay, I read this book when I was 16, you know, in high school. This is actually my second copy of the book because my first copy I had read it so much it fell apart. That was my phone. <laughs> Um, it's really, really good. I really recommend it, and if you know anything about me, is I'm really serious about books, and I'm really serious about book recommendations, so I would like to know what books you guys would recommend for other people. This one is uh, one of my favorites, and especially for you, Eric and Danielle, because you know you're still in high school, and I mean, I know, Hannah, you're in high school too, but it's like... Eric and Danielle, you're just like at that point in your life, it's hard to explain, but you're just, you're so young. <laughs> and I don't know if, and I read this when I was your age, and I think um, you might find at least some pieces of it, if somewhat um, affecting. Okay, um, that's it. Kimber's really passionate about books, I guess. 
I'll see you tomorrow, Hannah.